Hey guys, this is Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. I swore that I would never do this, uh, but today I'm going to show a basic way to reverse a cheat engine trainer. And I'm sorry, you just get pushed to the breaking point, and you just say, "Well, I'm I'm tired of this shit." <laughs> but but uh, this is my post on Fearless Revolution. Uh, I came out with some agony. For that new game agony i came out with some scripts i didn't mind sharing you know i don't if i have scripts for it and people want them i'm more than happy to let people have them i always leave my scripts open source uh to let you see you know how it was done what the script's doing and everything and that's sorry about that let me turn off discord uh just to let you see what's going on in the script and how it's operating and stuff for learning purposes because i want you to learn everything because everything you see in scripts that i come out with is every single thing that i've covered on this channel and went over step by step and uh, and i like for people to see that and yeah i go by blood fate on fearless revolution so if you see blood fate over there i don't really talk too much but uh and i go over there just very limited uh but what what happened was is this guy here ten ten or seto uh, he copied one of these trainers down and he decided he'd go and make him a low, you know, a cheat engine low grade trainer out of it using my scripts and then calling it his. I called him out on it. We're going to head on over there right now. And he disabled all his likes and dislikes and I called him out on it in the comment section right here. And he disabled all that. So, you know, that just proves his guilt right there. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you that he is a fraud and as you can see here may the 30th and if i go to my cheat tables here's my agony cheat tables now i know the dates on here but i've been updating them since but if you look here when i first zipped the very first file up that was on the may 29th so there's my proof right there that these came from me <laughs> but uh and every time you update your scripts or anything like that you know it changes the date on them so but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a random one i think uh i don't know which switch he's got one for both versions now i think but i'm going to just download this one and he's put it over at media fire i thought i turned off discord why am i still here oh here it is okay all righty and here's this trainer we're gonna bring that up and here it is and let's take a look at his about and info let's see what he's got on here he's got infinite health infinite stamina freeze astral time invisible undetected and give 999 skill points and probably knowledge too because i put knowledge in there as well ah he didn't put the uh, get infinite demon timer that i updated it to that's the new dates you saw on there because i found the demon timer when i came out with these scripts that was really early in the game and you couldn't really possess a demon at that point in time and let's see here he did set hotkeys to him my hat's off to him for that very good this is but this is the only thing i have a problem with this trainer was made by tanner seto well, the trainer was made by him. However, the scripts and all the hard work putting in to find these scripts was not made by him. So, alrighty, let's take a look and see how we can find out how to reverse this to see if these are our scripts or not. And I'm gonna bring up my latest version. This is for the updated version of the game when they updated. And we're just gonna come in here and move this over to the side for the time being and we're going to bring up a regular cheat engine now i want to say this also there are other ways to do this a lot better ways to do this i'm not getting into those i'm just showing a simplistic way because i don't want people going around reversing other people's trainers okay but and the way to avoid it being reversed this way that i'm about to show all you got to do is put a low grade encryption on it and uh, I'll be happy to show that in another vid, and it's also available on YouTube. Uh, encrypt your cheat engine trainers. It's information all over the place. It's real easy. But that would save you from anybody being able to do it the way I'm about to show you. If you don't encrypt it, then anybody can reverse your trainer easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach the trainer to cheat engine, just like so. 
and and you see here I used all AOB scans AOB scan module AOB scan module AOB scan module and guess what we're going to use as our reference oh, I, I thought I attached oh let me put this one down for a sec there we go and the first thing we do is I, you want to make writable readable and writable by putting in the little box instead of a check mark it's just checked like this I think yeah like that by default so you need to match it twice one is empty which turns it off and this will make it readable and writable okay it's locating readable and writable sources we're gonna value type string and you can turn off case sensitive but in this case I'm gonna use it and we're gonna paste in AOB scan module first scan and then you get a bunch of these what you want to look at are the black addresses not the green ones the black ones and you, what you do is you come down here and you browse this memory region and you can take a look here, here are the scripts over here you look in the dump section and here they are in byte form and if you wanted to put this to notepad, you just go down, you see where the disable is, unregistered symbol, health one. Everybody knows I use stuff like health one and stuff like that. Um, we'll just come all the way down here to dialic new mem. You just right click on it and we'll copy to clipboard, just like so. And what it does is it copies all these bytes. And what you can also do is come over to Google like so and let's put in uh, ASCII oh I'm sorry no, let's do it hex to ASCII like that that's uh, bytes to text in other words and you'll get uh, hex to ASCII text converter over at rapid tables which is a good one and just put in your bytes over here and press convert and there there's the script just click copy and we're going to come over here back to cheat engine back to my other cheat engine there we go and just go to tools auto assemble and paste and here's a copy of the script now I want to go back to the other cheat engine where my script is already on we see here that he has copied the health. Is it the same as mine? Let's see. I got health lookup. Uh, he didn't get the health too, which is the better health actually because it turns off collision for fire when you get hit by fire. All right, and let's take a look. Here's my script made by Chris Feet. And it's been updated since, so that's why it says that, because this is the updated version. Alrighty. And take a look, health one. Exact same everything. That might be a previous version because that's the older address. So I think that is from version one, because this address is for version two. So let's go bring up my version one cheat engine. But everything is the exact same because all I did was change the address. That's it. That's all I did. So let's bring up my first cheat engine, which is this one right here. This is my first trainer. And you see it's a little different here. This is for the version 1. And take a look. Exact same address. Which, you know, it's not uncommon we're going to get the same addresses. But look at the labels. Health 1. Health 1. I mean, just everything the exact same. The way I did it, the exact same. The, even the injection copies, the exact same. Everything the exact same. He copied this, these scripts. No two ways about it. Let's go back to here and we can look at other AOB scan modules. Let's see what else he's got. I'm just going to skip down a little bit, browse this memory region. Here's for Astral Time right here. All the way here to past the Alec Men. Let's copy that clipboard. Go over to our. Just uh, put that in there. Control A, delete. And convert. And here's infinite astral time. Same exact wording I used. Everything. 
<laughs> what a yeah, I tell you, people are such buffoons, I swear. Alrighty. So here's his trainer. Let's go back to my script table. It's probably yeah, it's probably the same script on my version one. And take a look. Same wording. Astral underscore time one. Everything the same. Same opcode. And and now I know it's mine because I just decided to modify this in the first one. But the second one, I did something different. I didn't use that same thing in the second one. I XORed. No, actually, it is the same. I'm sorry. So, I think it was something. Oh, it was Infinite Demon Timer. I XORed the uh, XMMO registries. But anyway, that's how you reverse it. You know, especially these dumbasses that don't know how to put their scripts or trainers to be encrypted. And uh, this is how you can tell when somebody has stole your hard work. It's the exact same. They use the exact same wording, exact same locations, everything. And it's your work. And that's it and then they go and call it their own so I just thought I'd uh, give you all that information that's as much into reversing a low grade cheat engine trainers I'm going to go into I'm not going to go into more advanced methods probably ever because I don't want people reversing other people's hard work so my what I want you to get out of this is be aware that we do check these things all the time. And if you go and steal anybody from our group's work, we're going to bust you out on it every single time. All right? We don't tolerate that. Uh, secondly, this is also a lesson to you to encrypt your trainers. Okay? Put a little encryption in there. It's not hard to do. I will show you how to do this later. I don't have time right now, but there is all kinds of information available for it. Come over to the uh, Cheat the Game Facebook page. Uh, we got a lot of great game hackers that will be happy to tell you how to do it. And uh, it's real easy. And there's plenty of tuts out there for right now until I can make one for you. Okay? But I just want you to be aware and protect yourself, okay? But I will always leave my scripts open source because I want you to learn from them. I will never allow a few bad apples ruin it for everybody. I don't do that. I don't punish everybody for a few's actions because I, I look after you guys. That's who I care about, okay? So don't worry. I'm not like that. All right, well, that's all I wanted to show you. I hope you got something out of it, and I'm just trying to keep you guys safe, and I just want to show you how to go about it and how to catch somebody that's maybe stealing you all your hard work. Uh, this is one route you can take, all right? You guys take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. Y'all take care now.